My name is Alice Wheeler, and I'm an artist photographer here in Seattle, Washington. I was always an art geek, like I painted. My mother was a painter and taught classes at the Joslin Art Museum in Omaha, where I grew up. Nebraska is great because people there are so nice and friendly, but like when you're a child, I think it's kind of rough if you're different. I was already into punk rock. That's kind of what took me out of Nebraska. I graduated midterm in 1979, two months after I turned 17, and I split. <laughs> I ended up in Seattle in 1981. Seattle was a wild west. It was just wild, you know, it was right before Streetwise. There was tons of like drugs and, you know, street prostitution and it wasn't like the fancy clean place that it is now. It was like dirty and scary and I loved it because it was the big city but it wasn't so big like LA. I used to go to all the punk clubs here like the Grey Door and the Fun Hole and all these little places. Everybody knew each other. We were all in bands, you know, we made some artwork, you know, it was just carefree, you didn't need a lot of money to live. This was my very first band shoot was with Nirvana. The first time I got hired and I got paid $25 from Sub Pop. And I love him because Kurt is so innocent and young there. I think he's about 22 or something. And it's just Kurt, you know, here's his snotty look and here's his sweet look. And, you know, he had all those sides, like so many interesting people I know. They didn't think Nirvana was going to be the big band. And they sent me to do Nirvana because they didn't really think that they were that great at first. So here's another picture of Kurt. He really didn't like these photos because he had pretty bad acne the day we shot for Bleach. Oh, here's a funny one. And they look like the Beatles. Oh, here's a picture of Kurt and Tracy. My friend Tracy when they were dating. And I love that one because Kurt is really, really rocking. Here's a picture of him and Frances when she was really little. And he loved her a lot. One of the things I've tried to do is photograph people that love Kurt since he's died. Like if I meet any fans that are obsessed with him. This is a kid that I met that ran away and was living in the homeless camp up on Beacon Hill. And a different photo of him is going to be in the Seattle Art Museum show about Kurt. I love photos that have a mystery to them or um, some kind of feeling. I also really like photos with a sense of humor. And uh, oh, here's a good one that has a sense of humor. Here's a picture of my old dog with a space needle crown on her head. This was Ruby, my cattle dog. This is my best friend, John Buchanan. He died of AIDS in 1995. I had a lot of portraits of him. I wonder if there's any more in here. Oh, here's a good funny one of John in the bathtub. And I went over to his house on Thanksgiving. And he was still in the tub. And so I ran in there with my camera and took his picture. A lot of my close friends died of AIDS in the 90s before the cocktail came out. John made me promise to photograph everything that happened when he died. His mother asked me to take this portrait, and this is like the hardest picture I've ever taken in my life. And it's like a family portrait of John in his coffin with his two brothers and his sister and his mom and his dad. No. And this is the kind of photo that you can only take once in your life, and you can't go back and do it again. What I do when I go shoot somebody is I try to develop a moment of intimacy and try and get inside their head for a few minutes. I absolutely love the people I photograph. I think they're amazing. I love freaks. I'm a freak myself. I'm photographing something in them that I see in myself. <laughs> 